Welcome to Frederick County Public Schools Virtual Art Show. We hope you enjoy these creations by art students from each of Frederick County's elementary, middle, and high schools. After learning about various Native American cultures, River King transformed his simple plate into a weaving loom. River's weaving shows evenly applied tension and demonstrates great attention to detail. He applied his knowledge of warm and cool colors to create contrast and applied pattern to empty spaces to increase interest. River is a second grade student at Orchard View Elementary School. Capturing her interest in technology and gaming, Victoria Coral created an imaginative self-portrait depicting herself immersed through a virtual reality headset. With crayons and paint, she portrayed herself smiling while wearing the headset, hinting at the sense of wonder and adventure in the digital realm. Victoria is a fifth grade student at Armel Elementary School. Addison Lowry's 3D artwork captures the glowing stars at night. She used cardboard paper to cut out the word star and painted the word blue showing gradation. She used acrylic paints for the images, such as the moon and the star, and overlapped the images to create a 3D word sculpture. Addison is a 7th grade student at Admiral Richard E. Byrd Middle School. 10th grade student Adaya Morina uses a strong composition in her acrylic painting titled The Tilted Cups. Her bright colors and whimsical brush strokes make a visual play of movement and balance in this expressive painting. The dark background creates a dramatic focus on light and shadow. Adaya is a student at Jameswood High School. Third grader Scarlett Facemeyer learned all about landscapes and how to show depth on a two-dimensional field. She experimented by adding small objects in the background and larger objects in her foreground. Scarlett used bright colors to add a contrasting sky. Scarlett is a student at Apple Pie Ridge Elementary School. Kylie Sladen learned the grid drawing technique for realistic drawing. Students also learned about expressionist interpretation of the same subject. Marker transfer was then used to create the color splash expression of this giraffe. Kylie is an 8th grade student at Frederick County Middle School. This piece was constructed by Eva Houston as a collage. Students worked from a black and white copy of their collage and completed the work in graphite. Eva is a senior at Millbrook High School. Kalani Mason learned about drawing from observation. 
The second grade student was able to move gourds, pumpkins, and other fall objects to create her own still life arrangement. After sketching from various angles, Kalani drew her objects with crayon onto her final paper. She then used the crayon resist method of painting over her drawing with watercolor paints, allowing the crayon to show through. Kalani is a student at Indian Hollow Elementary School. Brenner Ramirez worked on this piece for six weeks, learning the elements of art in each section, starting with line, followed by shape, color, value, texture, and space. Brenner was able to learn new techniques with new materials, such as pen, construction paper, and yarn. Brenner is a sixth grade student at James Wood Middle School. Grace Lincorn created this study of atmospheric perspective. The work began by using mixed tints and shades painted onto paper. The paper was then torn into strips and collaged into a mountain sunset. Gracelyn is a fifth grade student at Redbud Run Elementary School. Dom Lucerto, a second grade student at Bass Hoover Elementary School, created several observational drawings of fall-inspired objects for this piece. In his drawings, he experimented with identifying and recreating a variety of lines and shapes. To complete the piece, each drawing was added to a colorful background, which was printed from washable markers and each inspired by warm, cool, and neutral color families. Arctic Winter Haven is the title of this charming ceramic house. Built by James Wood Middle School 8th grade student Carla Lopez, slab construction techniques were used to build this house that can be lit from within using a tea candle. Carla used additive and subtractive sculpting methods to create the many details, such as curtains and wood grain. By adding coats of ceramic glaze, Carla put the colorful finishing touches on her sculpture. Sophomore Chloe Shockey, an Art II student at Sharando High School, created this drawing of a sea turtle as her composition. Chloe finished her project by adding color utilizing color pencils and markers. Tyrell Holmes created this self-portrait. Students first created a tissue paper bleed for the paper and then used lines to create value. Tyrell is a senior at Dowell J. Howard Center. Andre Martinez Lopez, a fourth grader at Evendale Elementary School, explored mixed media collage for this piece.
To create this work of art, Andre used a minimalist approach using little color in the monkey and a simple bright green background. This gargoyle was created by Serenity Showmaker. It was created by using black and white charcoal on toned paper. Serenity is an eighth grade student at Robert E. Ayler Middle School. James Wood High School junior Clara Renner completed this watercolor of a well-known local eatery in Old Town Winchester called Bonnie Blue. Clara worked from a photo to recreate this iconic building in its signature blue facade. Clara has worked previously with watercolors and used her past knowledge of this medium to complete her painting. Johan Pineda Havel, a first grade artist at Jordan Springs Elementary School, used geometric and organic shapes and different types of lines to draw a realistic farm. Johan then used tempera cakes to paint this fall scene. Junior Madeline Bromley created this high-relief self-portrait using cardboard in her Art 4 class at Millbrook High School. Paint was added to bring attention and detail to the otherwise monochrome color scheme. Nicole Martinez Dominguez created this piece. The work focuses on overlapping and creating space in two dimensions. Watercolor techniques were added for layering color, washes, and blending. Nicole finished the project using mixed media to create texture and emphasis. Nicole is a fourth grade student at Stonewall Elementary School. Kindergartner Piper Gloyd from Gainsborough Elementary School learned all about pop art. She learned how artist Wayne Tebow used a variety of lines and colors to enhance his artwork. Piper was then inspired to create a cupcake in the pop art style using a variety of lines and colors. Adriana McMurray, a sixth grade art student at Admiral Richard E. Byrd Middle School, used observation skills to capture two overlapping objects connected to her interests. Charcoal and white chalk gave dimension to this imaginative drawing. An additional challenge was given to add one imaginative item hidden in the artwork. Strong balance of positive and negative space was also considered to make the whole composition come together.
In this artwork by Millbrook High School freshman Katie Bromley, many materials were used to create a self-portrait. Katie worked from a real photograph of herself, tracing lines around all the values of light and dark on her face. She added more lines of texture to show value and dimension. The eyes floating in the background stand out from the paper, peering over the portrait itself, which is raised above the background to create a three-dimensional effect. Fourth grade students at Greenwood Mill Elementary School studied the work of Albrecht Dürer. They learned about drawing techniques, including shading, hatching, cross-hatching, and stippling, and then applied it to create their own castles. Sofia Estrada used these drawing techniques to create a beautiful and eye-catching castle full of textures and depth. Tamira Stegnaro created this artist color wheel. She used colored pencils to create the lines and also fill in the negative space. Tamira is an 8th grade student at Frederick County Middle School. Haley Ring's artwork is a compilation of two master works of art, Two Women on Veranda Overlooking the Sea by Marcel Ryder and Woman Playing a Guitar by Pierre-Auguste Renoir. Haley had to merge these two artworks together to create a new piece. She demonstrated this excellently with her creative placement of one painting within the other. Her use of strong highlights and lowlights, mixed with the overall dark and warm tone of the artwork, gives the viewer an inviting atmosphere. Haley is a junior at Sharando High School. Second grade student Ivy Puffenberger learned all about castle architecture and textures. She experimented by adding implied stone and brick textures to her castle. After she was done drawing and tracing with permanent marker, she practiced color blending analogous colors with colored pencils. Ivy is a student at Middletown Elementary School. Jackson Moon created this piece called Vagabond in his Art 3 class using recycled cardboard and Micron pens. The assignment was to use a relief of the cardboard as part of the composition. The cardboard was carefully peeled away to show the movement of the sword. Jackson used pen and ink techniques to create value and texture in the image. Jackson is a senior at Sharando High School. Frederick County Public Schools celebrate the arts throughout the year with a variety of art shows, concerts, and dramatic performances. Please join us in supporting our students in all their artistic endeavors.